In this video, I will show you how you can tell if a graph will have a vertical tangent. So the graph of a function f will have a vertical tangent line at a number, x0, if f is continuous at that number, x0, and then f prime approaches either positive infinity or negative infinity as x approaches that number from the right side and as x approaches that number from the left side. So let's graph um, the following using a graph calculator and then we can find the limits. <coughs> So when we graph these, um, you will notice that the cube root of x looks something like this. And then the cube root of negative x, the negative meaning that we actually reflect over the y-axis, you would actually have a graph that looks something like this. Now at these two points here, which I've outlined, so right here, and right here, <coughs> we actually have a um, vertical tangent. And these points here are called point of vertical tangency. So that's here and also right here. So what happens is when I approach x0 from the right and we check the limit of the first derivative, we can see that it goes to positive infinity. So this is increasing. So from the right side would be from this side over here. And we can see that it's going to positive infinity. As I approach the same point, let's call this x naught, from the left, so from, in, from here, the first derivative, we can also see that that slope is also going to positive infinity. So we have a vertical tangent here. <coughs> in the cube root of negative x, when I approach x0 from the right, we can see that the slopes are very negative. So we see that it's negative infinity. From the left, it's also negative infinity. So therefore, that's why we have a vertical tangent. Um, let's take a look at two more and compare them. So x to the 2 thirds, we have something that looks like this. There's something special happening here. So you probably remember this being called a cusp or the negative x, and this negative is on the outside, is not associated right directly in front of x, there's no bracket, so we would say that this is a reflection over the x-axis. So this actually is gonna be upside down. And we have something special happening here too, also a cusp. So as we ap approach x naught from the right side, which is this side here, we can see that the slope, our first derivative, is going to positive infinity. From the left side, this slope is getting more and more negative. So this is approaching negative infinity. From um, the second one, the negative x to the 2 thirds. So as we approach x naught right here from positive infinity, we can see that our slope is getting more and more and more negative. And then when we approach from the left side, we can see that our slope, our first derivative, is getting more and more positive. So it's positive infinity. You don't need to put the plus, plus sign when you say positive infinity, but I put it here just to emphasize the difference. So when you have something like the second example here, where it's positive infinity and negative infinity, that's called a cusp. So a function f of x has a cusp at a point A. If F is continuous at that point, so you can see there that it is continuous, but from one side, F prime approaches positive infinity, but then from the other side, it approaches negative infinity. So you're gonna do this when you're checking the first derivative. So when you check the first derivative, um, you're gonna notice that you might need to check some um, denominators where it's undefined, it's where X equals zero, and then those are the values that you're gonna check to see if there's a vertical tangent. 